Hey everyone, it's Erin here, and to participate in Plastic Free July, I thought I'd share with you guys some really easy and non-intimidating ways to be more sustainable and plastic free in your everyday life. Plastic Free July is a global movement that helps millions of people to become part of the solution to plastic pollution so that we can have cleaner air, cleaner oceans, and cleaner communities. So the first plastic free swap that you should all implement is using a reusable water bottle instead of drinking from plastic water bottles. I personally have a 32 ounce hydro flask that I like to fill up before I leave the house and I bring this water bottle with me everywhere that I go. I also like to bring with me a bamboo cutlery set and it's really easy to just keep in your purse for whenever you may need it. So this set comes with a knife, fork, and a spoon as well as a stainless steel straw and a straw cleaner. So if you are one of those people who like to get a beverage when you're out like coffee or a tea or a smoothie even, I would highly recommend bringing your own to-go cup. This little to-go cup is so perfect for whenever I have an early morning and I just want a little hot beverage when I'm driving somewhere. So I usually put some hot tea in there. And then whenever I go grocery shopping, I make sure to bring my own grocery and produce bags. Lotus Trolley Bag actually sent me this grocery system a while back. I absolutely love this. It's such a game changer. So these compartments expand in your shopping cart so you can keep all of your items really nice and organized. Lotus Trolley Bag also makes these reusable produce bags that come in all different sizes. So instead of having to use those plastic bags that are supplied at the grocery store, I just pick from my stash. Another simple way to reduce your plastic usage is to go through the rooms in your house and try to swap out any single-use plastic items for more reusable, sustainable options. So starting off with the bathroom, which would basically be any beauty or body products, a couple really easy swaps is to exchange a plastic toothbrush for a bamboo one. I only use bamboo toothbrushes because they're compostable and biodegradable, so this is what mine currently looks like. And I also have this little bamboo travel case holder thing for my toothbrush if I'm going somewhere and I want to keep my brush fresh basically. I also started to use toothpaste and mouthwash tablets, which is such a crazy concept, but it's actually super cool. So this is from By Humankind. By Humankind is one of my favorite body product brands because they do sustainable, low waste or even zero waste options for your everyday items that you would use. I've got some mouthwash tablets by them and it comes in this really fun glass and silicone case. It's so convenient for travel purposes because it's tiny. So I also use glass tooth floss. There are a ton of brands that offer the silk floss refills for when you run out so that you can keep reusing this little jar over and over again. These bamboo cotton swabs are also from By Humankind. It's just funny because with such a small little item like a cotton swab, you kind of forget that most of them are made from plastic. So moving on, another really easy and fun swap that you can do is use shampoo and conditioner bars. There are so many brands that make shampoo bars and conditioners such as Unwrapped Life and Lush. By Humankind is my personal favorite and you can choose the option of ordering them with a little soap dish. This shampoo bar can replace up to three medium-sized shampoo bottles and this has zero waste. So I'm a huge fan of using those. So just by using bar soaps for when you're washing your body or your hands, you're already reducing so much waste. You can actually use solid bars for your lotions and moisturizers as well. These are from Lush. This is actually their massage bar, but I personally like to use it as a body moisturizer, especially when I travel. I just keep them in this reusable tin case and you've got a waste-free lotion. Another option to reduce plastic is to refill the bottles that you already have. So if you currently have shampoo and conditioner bottles in your shower, 
make sure to use them up until they're completely done and either recycle them or refill them. So even though that option isn't zero waste, it still does reduce the amount of plastic that you are consuming. So I like to keep that concept in mind and just refill bottles that I may already have. So for example, with any little hand sanitizer bottles that you may have in your purse, if they're empty, rather than throwing them out, just get a larger thing of hand sanitizer to refill your smaller bottles. This one is the unscented bulk hand sanitizer from By Humankind. Obviously, I'm a huge fan of that brand because they just have everything that I might need in my everyday life. So another thing that you can do, especially if you love DIYs, is to actually make your own beauty products. I do like to make my own body scrubs because it's so easy to make and I use it so regularly that it just makes more sense economically to make my own. So now let's talk about making your kitchen into a plastic free zone. So growing up I was so used to using plastic cling wrap and those little Ziploc um, snack bags especially when packing a lunch for school. Obviously that's super wasteful and luckily there are so many plastic free alternatives that we can use in the kitchen. To replace plastic cling wrap, you can use beeswax wrap and these can come in really fun patterns and colors to make it really cute, but they're a really great option to keeping your food sealed and fresh. Of course, you can always keep your food in glass Tupperwares as well. And I actually have this kit from Seed and Sprout, which is a Australian lifestyle brand. So I've got some reusable wraps as well as all these different size silicone caps to put on bowls. And then to replace those Ziploc snack bags, I've got some silicone ones. To reduce waste as well as to save a lot of money, I try to pack my own snacks and lunches for when I go to work. So this is one of my lunch boxes. It's from Seed and Sprout and it's insulated. So I'll put my little lunch box in there, which is like a little bento box, as well as my Ziploc silicone bags full of snacks. So to encourage you all in reducing plastic in your everyday lives, I've partnered up with Lotus Trolley Bag to support Plastic Free July. To aid one lucky winner on their plastic free journey, Lotus Trolley Bag is giving away a starter kit full of essential plastic free reusable alternatives. So Lotus Trolley Bag actually sent me the prize so that I can unbox it and show you guys exactly what you would win. And I'm also hoping that this will inspire you to put together your own little starter everyday essentials kind of kit. So first of all, you'll win a Lotus trolley bag setup. These bags are so convenient. They're food safe and they're washable and they will completely change up your whole grocery shopping experience and make it plastic free. So it looks like we've got a few stainless steel bottles from Clean Canteen. This is a 20 ounce insulated water bottle with a bamboo cap. Super cute detail. This is a 32 ounce thermos with a pour through cap and a detachable cup. And then this is a 16 ounce insulated tumbler. So like I said earlier, if you like to get smoothies or coffee on the go, this is the way to do it. So next I've also got a pack of four stainless steel straws with these silicone flex tips to keep your straws fresh. So next up is this Eco lunch box, basically a three in one stackable bento box, which makes packing your own lunch super easy and keeps everything all organized. Finally from Kala Company are these reusable beeswax food wraps. So like I mentioned earlier, beeswax wraps are such an easy way to replace plastic cling wrap. And these are all washable, reusable, and compostable. So anyway, those are some beginner-friendly ways to reduce your plastic usage in your everyday life. If you're interested in entering the Lotus Trolley Bag giveaway in partnership with Plastic Free July, I'll provide the link in my description so that you can go to their page. I would also love to hear how you guys are doing on your plastic-free journey and your journey to towards sustainability in general. So if you wanna comment below and let me know some ways that you try to be more sustainable in your everyday lives, I would love to hear it. That is it for me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.